So, this is a review slash unboxing, sort of, of the Victorinox Huntsman Swiss Army Knife, uh, which I've just bought from Amazon for £20.60p. and um, It had free delivery and it was quite cheap for what it is, it's usually about £30, but on Amazon it's £20, which is quite good. Um, I bought this for, sort of as a key ring. Um, or kind of something to add to my keyring that's just like going to be quite useful to have because it has an awful lot of tools on it which are all quite useful. Um, anyway, um, Victorinox are one of the best kind of Swiss Army knife makers. They're kind of the standard Swiss Army knife people. Um, there's a small picture on the back of this which I will show you. Let's focus in. Um, and it's Swiss made as it says um, and it's you can see most of the tools apart from a couple of the smaller ones such as um, the, there's a toothpick and a pair of tweezers um, but this shows all the tools on the back there and the barcode and it's Huntsman and since 1884 um, original Swiss Army knife, Victorian Ox and it's blank um, sorry about the squeaky noise um, Okay, so we'll get into it. There is the knife itself, and it's an empty box. Um, and there is like a little leaflety guide. I'll just focus in on this so you can see. Um, I'm going a bit see through. Um, basically, it, it's just telling you how to use some of the different tools and telling you what they are and how to maintain it with multi-tool oil. Um, but so most of the tools are quite self-explanatory, except some of them have some kind of, not hidden functions, but um, some of them are quite difficult to like understand which, like what you do with it. Um, okay, so I'm hoping this is all going to be in focus, although it may not be. There you go. Okay, I'll try not to move from here too much. Okay, so firstly, it has a large knife, which I think it says is 8 centimetres, but I'm just going to measure it now. No, it said it was 9 centimetres. Um, but it is actually about 6. The actual knife itself, that if you include like the bit at the bottom, it may be 9. But actually the blade itself is only 6 six centimeters there you should be able to see um, so the blade is only six centimeters which is fairly big it's quite a big blade I thought it was more than six when I first used it um, it also has a smaller blade here which I'll just get out which is about four centimeters or about one and a half inches It's about one and a half inches, um, four centimeters. Um, so, and the knives, I have to say, are really sharp. I will show you later how sharp they are. Um, I'm just seeing if I've got anything I can readily cut. Okay, I have a toilet roll. Um, just, I'll try and cut into it, just to show you how sharp it was. That went in. Very little effort. It just slices straight into it. And I'm not even having to cut it with a cutting action, it just goes straight through. So the knives are very, very sharp. And they're all made with Swiss, Swiss made stainless steel. Um, so they're all really high quality. And should maintain sharpness very well. Um, okay, so I'm going to try and go through the other tools. Um, here is a couple of different things. Um, there's a can opener. No, sorry, a bottle opener. Um, which also has a, um, a flathead screwdriver. And I think this small gap here is for a wire stripper, I do believe. Although it looks a bit confusing as to how you would use it. But it does say it's a wire stripper, I think. Um, there's a, another tool is at this side, which is a can opener. This opens cans, so like a tin of beans, which doesn't have a pull ring lid. You can use this to cut around the edges of it. Um, I haven't tried it, so I'm not sure how good it works, but... I'm assuming it will work. It may be slow, but it will help if you forget your can opener if you are camping or something. 
Um, it also has a smaller flathead screwdriver on that end, which is very hard to notice, but it's quite easily there. Um, there's also, which I think is quite amazing, is a pair of scissors. I'm just focusing because it's focused. Um, a pair of scissors. It's spring loaded so you don't have to fiddle around with it too much. Um, and it does cut very well. I'll get to my little candidate for cutting up and I'll cut it. Um, the only thing stopping me from cutting further is that the toilet roll is getting to the base of the. But as you can see, it's very, very sharp and just cuts through it effortlessly. It just cuts. And it's quite easy to use. You only use one hand wrap around the tool and you can just cut through. It's, it's, I'm not sure how big the blades are. The actual scissors are only about two and a bit centimetres, which doesn't seem like it's much, but it's perfectly adequate for most things. Um, okay, um, I'll try and move on to some other things now. Um, okay, so knives, there is also this is the Huntsman knife, and it has a uh, large saw. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus. It's annoying on my camera. I'm really sorry about this noise. Hang on, I'm going to manual focus. This is the wonders of filming with a digital SLR. Um, so this saw, you should be able to see, has like very large teeth, which look very, very kind of sharp um, and this is a very large saw well much larger than the blades I'll just measure it now um, it is about three inches or about eight centimeters so that's quite large um, so this will be right for cutting bits of wood I don't think you've got anything bigger than a small stick about that big but you could try and um, it may just take a while um, anything else I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything so there's one two three four I think that's everything from this side um, so this side there is a corkscrew which is a corkscrew for undoing wine bottles or other bottle but uh, other like cork things um, there is also what they would refer to as a multi-purpose hook which is just a hook. As you can see it's just a hook. It's like got a very strange shape but it's just a hook. Um, I'm not sure what that could be used for but it must be useful for something. Also on the, this knife um, there is, I think this is a parcel opener, or not parcel, or like letter opener. You can use it to cut open letters I think. It's basically just a, a knife with both ends tapered. Um, it's, it's not as sharp as the other knives. So. Um, there's also this hole, which I think is for th um, threading for threading um, like a sewing, I think it's a sewing eye it's called. Um, which I think, I don't know how it would work, but I'm assuming you can push it through and then like thread a string with it or something through a material although I'm not sure you could actually do proper knitting with it or anything or something or anything um, okay so I think the two last features I think um, there is this which is a toothpick it's, oh, sorry it's just a toothpick I'm really sorry about the squeaky noise this is the only way I can focus um, So there's, I don't know, it's just kind of a toothpick, um, it's not that interesting. Um, and on the other side, um, they, they just pull out of these like side slots. Um, you can pull out a pair of tweezers, and it's just like quite a fine headed piece of pair of tweezers. Sorry about the noise. Um, 
they they probably work okay. I, I'm not sure why I would need tweezers, but it might be a use for them sometime. Um, and there's also a key ring. So I think I've gone through everything. So there are just some up. There's two large, there's a large blade and a small blade, a corkscrew, a can opener with a small screwdriver on it. There is also a bottle opener with a large screwdriver and a wire strip on that as well. Um, there is what's called a reamer punch and sewing eye, which is what I showed you just then. I think that's what this thing was. That I wasn't sure. Yes, this is what that this is. This is a reamer punch with sewing sewing eye. Um, there's also a key ring for attaching things to it. Um, a toothpick, um, tweezers on this side. Um, and scissors and a hook with a wood, no, a hook and then a wood saw. So uh, that's everything that's on it. And it's got a lifetime warranty with Victorinox, which means they'll basically fix it and repair it if there's anything wrong with it. I'm not sure to what extent that means because I don't know what could go wrong with it. But it does summarise the warranty on this piece of paper. And it seems to say that it guarantees all tools to be first class stainless steel and a lifetime against defects in material or workmanship. So if it breaks because of material, I'm sure, I don't know whether it, if, it, if a blade breaks or a hook snaps off or something like that. Um, then it will not cover it. Um, and it says that damages caused by misuse or abuse are not covered. So if you break it yourself, so if you snap something deliberately or use it for the wrong use, like you use a hook and hit something with it or stab something with a hook and break it, they will not repair it. Um, so, yeah, as long as it's not you that's broken it deliberately, if it's just broken through it through the fault of the, the, the knife itself breaking, rather than you breaking it, um, then they will fix it. And it's a lifetime, so it will last forever. Um, so other than that, I'd recommend this for like people who like camping and climbing. It's very useful. If anyone's ever watched the film 127 Hours, it would be a lot shorter if he had brought his Swiss Army knife. Instead he had a very like premature knife that didn't really work for cutting, because it was blunt. If you had this, it would have would have been able to cut through anything very quickly. Um, but anyway, um, I'll put a link in the description below um, to where I bought it from on Amazon. And um, please, if you like this video, like it. If you really liked it, favourite it, or whatever. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions about it or want to know about the other Swiss Army knives. Because this is, I would say, this is like the, just above mid in the range of Swiss Army knives, there are some with a couple more tools but they're a lot more expensive or there are some with a lot fewer, you can get ones with just a blade and they're about £10 or £12 but this has got quite a lot and this is about £30 or £20 if you could buy it on Amazon um, it's a very nice finish, it looks very good quality nothing that feels cheap about it at all, it all feels really sturdy when you flip the blades out, they're not floppy, they will stay where you put them it's like it's it's very rigid and well made and it's all made in Switzerland which means well it doesn't necessarily mean it's good quality but it just means it's not like mass produced in China for example so this is a really good knife to have it's a very handy tool made by a good company with a lifetime warranty so really what more would you want um anyway I hope you like this video remember to like and favourite this video if you want and subscribe if you want more reviews and unboxings and other things um, hopefully I'll have a video coming up of me building a computer which will be quite a big series because there's lots of parts to it um, so keep in touch I might eventually I'll put a link up in the in this corner with that video hopefully um, when I get that done um, anyway um, see you in another video possibly um, goodbye